All right, let's compare stateful versus stateless. And I'm going to tell you, this is something I always forget. You know, I'm 10 years in with AWS at least, and I always get these backwards. And I have no idea why. I think it's because I'm from a developer background. So this IT networking stuff is not top of mind. So if you get it backwards, don't feel bad about it. But let's do our best to make it really clear so we can have the best chance of remembering this when we sit the exams. So stateless firewalls like AWS Snackles are not aware of the state of the request. So that's why they're called stateless. They don't know anything about it. So in both directions, they'll treat you like a stranger and stop you both ways to do a rule check. Now, I, I use the word stop to say they will check to whether allow or deny. That's not a block. That's just a stop. So understand that. I have this nice little graphic, and we have ourselves an EC2 instance. And this EC2 instance wants to go talk out to the internet. So it's going to make a request, and we'll call this request A so we can track the progress of the request, and it's originating from the server. That's the EC2 instance, the virtual machine over here, and it's going to go over to the NACL, and the NACL is going to say stop. We need to decide whether you're allowed to uh, like leave or not, allow or deny. And so it either passes that rule or it doesn't. But let's imagine that it, it is allowed to go out. Now, on the internet side, it's going to send a response. It knows that the origin is still the server. It's over here on the right-hand side, okay? But it's uh, coming back the other way, okay? It's coming back with a response from that, that specific request. And the NACL is going to say, stop. We don't know who you are. And we're like, well, we're from the originating server. They're like, we don't care. We're going to check you. Anyone coming or leaving is going to get checked. So that's the example there. Now imagine uh, a request is coming from the internet and it's trying to reach the EC2 instance. It's going to get stopped. And then the EC2 instance is going to send back something to, the, uh, to that request as a response and it's going to get stopped. So it just stops all directions. So hopefully that is crystal clear and that's what makes it stateless. Let's take a look at stateful firewalls like AWS security groups. They are aware of the state of the requests. For SGs, they allow all outbound requests and, res and responses for the requests that originated outbound are allowed back through. So I know that was a lot to say there, but we'll, we'll break it down here. And understand that different virtual firewalls work differently. So don't look at this and think all stateful firewalls work this way. It's just the way uh, security group firewalls work, okay? So the idea here is very similar. We have request A. So request A is going to be the one in yellow here. So this is originating from the server and it's gonna go out. And as we said, all outbound requests are allowed. So it's gonna go and go out this way, right? Out to the internet. And the internet's gonna return a response and the response is allowed back because it remembers you know, that the response came from the EC2 instance. So it's allowed to go out, all right? So this one always, if it goes out, it gets to come back in, all right? Now let's look at the other direction. So we have request B coming from the internet, just gonna uh, clean up here. This one here has to get stopped. And it says, are you allowed or not to enter, uh, enter through the security group? If it is allowed, then the response automatically is allowed to go back out, okay? So hopefully that is very clear. Um, and you know, that's the best I can do there. But again, understand that security groups are, uh, the way they handle it is that particular thing. And if, if you want to know this little icon here actually doesn't exist. I made it because security groups don't have an icon, but uh, I wanted to make a good representation. So if you carefully look at the icon, look at the knackle, the knackle has these two lines and it has these arrows pointing in. And so it's saying that they're going to stop them both ways. And then the one I made down here shows it only checks on entering uh, for this one specific use case, okay? So th there you go. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, no, that's it. Yep, see you in the next one.